everybody. <laughs> Just kidding. She's a spunky pop star, but Pink doesn't take all the credit for her success. In a recent acceptance speech for an outstanding contribution to music, the artist said she is successful because, quote, I surround myself with people that are better than me. Is this sound advice that we should all follow? We are diving into this one today in Real Talk. Of course, Mandy Landefeld stuck around and making her Real Talk debut, the founder of Beyond Her, Brandi Harvey. Hello. And there he is. Thanks for having me. We are yeah. so excited. So we've got Brandy, Mandy, and Candy Kinnear. Yeah. 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 We are yeah. like yeah. the new I'll be Michelle. I will definitely be Beyonce. Okay. <laughs> I love it. So I, I don't know if you heard, uh, there was a quote that I said to Chesley in, in the weather segment that um, I saw it on a card and I always remembered, you know, show me who you walk with and I'll show you who you are. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And according to this study, there is something ab uh, about that mm -hmm. uh, that works and it makes people more, especially women, more successful. So do you feel like you really surround yourself with women who are better than you? We'll start with you. Absolutely. I think that, like, I mean, first off, like, I'm an avid, like, workout trainer person, right? So the women that I train with in the gym every day, they push me to be greater. Then the mentors that I have, they push me to strive for more. And so I'm, like, under that guise of, like, Dr. Dennis Kimbrough when he says, you hang around nine broke people, you're going to be the ten. So I just choose to hang around people. I have not heard that. That's I awesome. have not heard that, but I like it. So listen, I'm just hanging around winners. So. <laughs> Yes. I just like to win. <laughs> I love that. And Kara, I mean, well, I was going to say, what is the like upside to hanging around people that aren't better than you? <laughs> well, she's good. right, Kara, right, right on. <laughs> Can somebody get Kara some clothes? Um, yeah. Kara, Not she's tripping. Yes. At the well, definitely even more yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. Help uplift you today. Yes. yes. We're, 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 I know. We're yeah. wearing our masks, but you know what? She's Come committed. On, she's committed to this show. She's here. Ill. Oh. Um, right. I, I totally agree with yeah. you. And it's interesting because the next question I was going to be is um, talking about um, hiring people because I've noticed in places that I've worked when when bosses hire people now, and, and that can be very intimidating oh, it's yeah. a true leader uh, I think that is willing to say you know what wow this person has got it going on I'm kind of lucky that that, <laughs> yeah. that we've got them yeah. and think about how much less you'll have to manage them Exactly. exactly. Right. Exactly. So, my, oh my gosh. I mean, my Lisa. I just oh, design Lisa. wise, Lisa. Um, my design Hi, assistant. Hi, Lisa. Um, I mean, and now she's. <laughs> I'm feeling the pain because she's on maternity leave. But I mean, like, <laughs> I mean, those are the people that you can hand stuff to. They help you. Yeah. They help you grow. They help you get better. They help you succeed and and push yourself in boundaries because now you have more capable hands to help you get there. Absolutely. Right. Do you think, Kara, we've talked before on the show about women that we have admired or maybe who mentored us. Um, do you think that some successful people are less likely or maybe open to mentor um, people that maybe aren't on their level? I don't know. I think, I think that there are, of course, some people that get to the top from not doing the right things, but I think most people, I like to believe that their karma is good and that they've put right. it out there and they've received it back and that's why they are as successful yeah. as they are. So yes. kind of paying it forward. And yeah. Like you were sure. talking about yeah. earlier. Yeah. yeah. Yes. People want to share what they know, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, people really no. genuinely no. really want to share no. what they know, especially when they're experts in their field. It's right. like I, coaches, you know, I want you to become better, you know, right. and I want you to be better because you spend time with me, because you're around around me right. because we sharpen each other to become better. Yes. I think that's the real test of leadership anyway, right. is when you teach others how to become greater and better and stronger and faster, that's the true test of leadership. Yes, well, so no true. good leader thinks they know everything. Exactly. Right. Right. Yeah, right. Right. Well, right. You're, you're right. never going to be a good leader if you think you know everything. Right. And you hope, you hope that's the case, that even though you've, you've um, risen to a, a certain level, a certain place, that you still are humble enough to know, I don't have all the answers all the time. Right. Exactly. That's why I'm going to hire these people yeah. who do. <laughs> right. um, but it seems that Pink is onto something because Forbes says, uh, compares this to improving a sports skill. If you want to be better, you learn from a coach or trainer, as you were talking about, um, who's good at what you want to be good at. So why wouldn't the same concept be applied to our career? But it is interesting, um, the people, and luckily I don't really know that many, who you feel like don't, don't want to help guide and, and get you to a place 
because of you know their what their experience and their knowledge. Luckily, I don't feel like I've, I've surrounded myself with those no, kinds of people. No, I haven't. Yeah, I, I haven't. Yeah. No. I, haven't. But, I love our friend on the show, Maddie James, who comes on, who's an influencer, and I was oh, watching. I love Maddie. Isn't she great? She's, she's so awesome. She's so good, and she said she did this Instagram live one day, and I was watching it, and I loved what she said. She said, "I do not want to be at the top by myself." She was like, because I'm doing this and this, and I'm charging this much. This is how much. Like, really, like, come with me. Like, we can do exactly. this all. You know, and right. exactly. It's like, yes, of course. Like, I loved her sharing that and being so open about it. I think experts, uh, as you were mentioning, uh, uh, not, we have to all write that quote down about the ninth bro nine broke people. Oh yeah, Dr. Diskimbro. He's a professor over at Clark Atlanta. Really? Yeah, really? he's in the business department at Clark Atlanta University. But, but don't yeah. you find at the times in your life, maybe you haven't been your best self? And suddenly, whether it's a man or friends, I've been there, that suddenly you, you've dropped down to the lowest, you know, the lowest uh, common denominator of, of people who just don't make you your best self. Exactly. Right. And, and it's fun, or you could look at it the other way, but how do you get out of that? Or how do you get out of that? people say to you, like, you need to, ch or you've changed. You've changed. And I always want to say, like, it's the high school yearbook phenomenon when you write yes. it back. You're like, don't change. Don't I love change. You, like, this forever. Yeah. But then I'm like, God, I hope my friends are constantly changing. I do. Right. Evolving. You yes. know what I mean? Right. I, told, I told people yeah. at the, my goals for, you know, this year was I'm taking new friend requests. Okay? Like on Facebook. <laughs> yeah. Okay? Yeah. I'm taking new friend requests. Yeah. Okay? Because I want to constantly surround my pe myself with people who are evolving, who are going to another level, and right. who are going to help me mm -hmm. elevate myself and go to to the next level, right? Because if we're all just sitting around talking about the same thing every day, well, who is right? Well, who is helping who? Right? That's what I'm right. saying. Right. We're right. in each other. Right. We have to be invested. Right. We have to be doing this together. And right. so, my friends and those people that I spend my time with, like. That's my time. Mm -hmm. I can never get that time back. That's right. And exactly so that's right. the most valuable thing right. that I have. Right. So if I want to surround myself with people, well, hey, we got to be, you got to be shooting for the moon. I got to be shooting yes. for the moon. You shooting for the stars. I'm shooting for the stars. Yes. And so that's going to help us. Right. Uh, yes. It's interesting that uh, kind of focusing on gender, because the gender of successful people may play a role as well. A new study from Northwestern University found that women who have a female dominated inner circle, who does? Listen. Yeah. Who does? Exactly. Exactly, my girls are like. more mm -hmm. likely to work their way into high-ranking leadership positions. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, I mean, and it's not just because I got married. I mean, I've always had like a nice group of guy friends, but I'm more, I'm all about the girls, yes. girl power, ladies. Yes. yes. Same yes. for you. Everybody yes. raise your hand. Yes. Yeah. yes. But yes. I do that culinary <laughs> appearances a lot for um, women presidents organization here in Atlanta, who all are high CEOs of major, major, major businesses that she has built. And in the culinary industry, there's a huge pocket of women you know, who lift each other yes. up, build each other up. And they don't do the same, the culinary industry, just like every other industry, is is very wide spreading. And so it, no matter what your line of work is, there is all kinds of people that aren't doing the same type of work as you, but can help you through every facet of the type of work right. that you do. And so it's just incredible. And also from other industries too. Everyone, experiences are very, are very overlapping in a lot of ways. Right. And I yeah. think the more we can go ahead and pull on fabulously strong, smart, adventuresome, you know, mm -hmm. confident yeah. women who have not been afraid of risk. That's always a big thing yes. with women, you know, yeah. is like not being afraid of risk and right. and how do you journey through these things and we're all going to fall, but how do we, you know, yeah. it's not about the failures in life, it's what you learn from those failures and how you proceed and how you, you know, succeed after we, them. We only yeah. have a minute left. I want to talk about the negative Nellies because this article also talks uh -uh, about Don't have time. About, <laughs> and I know no. you mentioned that, Kara. Yes. How do you step away with love or maybe not with love <laughs> or just, you know, how do you... Uh, take yourself away from from those kinds of situations. I mean, I really try not to surround myself with people like that. But I do think if somebody is being negative, I'll just laugh at them. She does. Because she I'm like, oh, what is so wrong you kinda, with you? If you call it out in a like, funny way, right. they, they stop. I mean, right. you, know, it's, you just got to make, you yeah. know. Or, it, I mean, it depends. A There's way. a fine line. Like, if somebody is really going through someone, I'm not, something, I'm not oh, like, right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm not yeah. talking yeah. about yeah. depression. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
like a personality trait. Right. It's not making them any better than I'm right. like, come on, we gotta. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, but as women you, are, right. well, yeah. And you said you're taking new friend requests. Yeah. And it, it, it's an interesting perspective because the older I get, I feel like my funnel is getting a lot tighter. It is. Uh -huh. but, it is. But, um, but you're very, I'm feeling very much more selective, and hopefully my friends are as well, is, you know, how do I make them feel? Yeah. That's what it's right. all about. Absolutely. I would love for you guys to win. Can we take the poll? Yeah. So, what is the secret to success? Do you surround yourself with people who are better than you? What is our poll saying? Of course, 57% say that most successful women surround themselves with other women. I thought that's interesting. 43% say no, both sexes hmm. are in their inner circle. You know what else I think is very important, though, is to have friends that aren't like you. Like you, right. you yes. can have friends yes. that are going in the same direction, but have friends that don't live where you live and yeah. don't look like yes. you. I think that's so they important. They offer you a different perspective. Yeah. Right. Yes. It helps you to totally open yeah. your mind up to a whole new world. Yeah. Yes. Brandy, Mandy, yes. and Candy. Thank you. <laughs>